Hi, for this video, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to find the z-score that corresponds to a given area, and for this one, we're going to use the TI-84. I have another video that shows you how to do it um, with the TI Inspire, and also one that shows you how to do it with the table. Um, but for this one, it's the TI-84, so if you have a TI-83, you would also do it the same way. So for this one, what you would do is because of the fact that we are given the area, we want to do the opposite of what we normally do to find the area. Okay, so this time we want to do the find the z-score. So um, in the calculator, the way that it's programmed to do the opposite is the inverse. So what we are going to look for is the inverse norm. And majority of graphing calculators give you the area to the left only. Um, my new TI-84 Plus CE, this is the newest um, edition of it. It does have a feature that not all of the graphing calculators have. Um, so I will make sure that I point that out because it's going to look a little bit different than some of yours. So for this one, what we would do is for the calculator, if you're looking for the area to the left, you would do inverse norm, you would type in your area, and then you would put your mean and your standard deviation. For this particular question, since we are finding the inverse norm for the area of 0.1562, that's just the area that's shaded in, that's your probability, um, that's where the 0.1562 came from. The mean, remember that for a standard normal, since we're looking for a z-score, the z-score is always um, corresponds to the standard normal table, which has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. And then we would just plug this into our calculator. So to get there, what we are going to do is we're going to do second distributions and option 3. And like I said, for some of you, this may not come up. This part right here where it says tail, left, center, or right. Majority of the graphing calculators that I have seen for the TI-83 and the TI-84 family do not have the option for left, center, and right. Um, what the left means is that the area is shaded to the left. The center means that it's shaded in between two values. And the right mean that means that it's shaded to the right. Um, so if you have this feature, all you would have to do is type in these areas, the 0 0.1562, the 0 0.1762, the 0 0.860, and then select the left, center, or the right for what it corresponds to. But since majority of you probably have graphing calculators that do not have this feature, um, what I'm going to do is majority of them are programmed automatically to be to the left. So that's what I'm going to do is show you guys what it would be with a left tail. So to the left, I would look for the 0.1562 is my area. And I am going to leave the mean as zero and the standard deviation as one, because remember that we are finding for the standard normal, so we're looking for the z-score. And we would just hit enter. Um, with the exception of the left, like if you have a TI-83, uh, you would just, the parenthesis would end after the zero, one, you wouldn't put the comma left in there. This is, like I said, a new feature in the newer edition and so I would just type in negative 1.01, and this is my z-score. Um, typically with z-scores, we go to two decimal places only. And if you looked it up in a table, this would give you the exact same value. If you wanted more than two decimal places, then the technology is definitely superior than the table because the table only gives you two. So if I needed three or four decimal places, um, then technology is a better way of finding it. For the second one, because of the fact that the area is to the right, like I said, majority of the calculators um, out there will do um, the area to the left only. So what we would have to do is we would have to do inverse norm. Sorry, my technology froze on me for a second. Um, inverse norm. And then we would do one minus the area, 0, 1. And with the TI-83 and TI-84 graphing calculators, um, you can just keep it like this. You can actually type it in as 1 minus the area. So when I do that, I would do second distributions, inverse norm, and then I would do 1 minus my area that is shaded, which is the 0.1762.
and I can type it in and it will do the math for me. So if you have the older calculator, you would just type in 1 minus 0.1762 comma 0 comma 1 and remember the comma is above the 7. And because I put in the 1 minus 0.762, I'm going to keep it as left. And I want to show, for those of you that have the other feature, what the to the right means. So I'm going to go back to this. Um, but this tells us that our z-score is 0.9299. Or, like I said, normally we round to two decimal places. So we would say that z is approximately 0.93. And that's what we would get from a table if we were to use a table value. So like I said, I wanted to show you what it means with the right tail that I would have got the same thing. Um, if you have the feature, the left, center, right, we would just type in the 0 0.1762. And then we would go down. And when we get to this, we would scroll over to the right and hit enter. And then we would paste and enter again. And notice it gives me the exact same area. So what they did was they just made it a little bit easier. They simplified it to now where it will find both the right and the left. So if we come back to our last example on here, for this one, again, we are looking for in between. So like I said before, if you have the graphing calculator that allows for the left, center, and right, we would select center, and we would just put in the 0.86. Um, because of the fact that majority of the graphing calculators that I have seen up to this point um, do not give us that area. What we have to do is we have to find the area to the left of the negative z-score, or we could find the area to the left of the positive z-score, but we need to find the area in these two tails. And so if you remember from the normal distribution, anything to the left of negative z, the area is going to be the same as to the right of positive z. So these two areas will always be equal. So if we're looking for the z-scores that correspond to an area of 86% in between, um, what we would do is we would take 1 minus the 0.86, which would give us 14%, and that's how much area total is in between both of these tails. That's how much is not shaded. So if I wanted to know how much is just to the left of this negative z, um, the area to the left... would be equal to half of the area of the 1 minus. So we would do the half of the 0.14, which is 0 0.07. And this is what I would plug into my calculator. So like I said, because most of you guys have um, the calculator that does not have the option um, for left, center, or right, I am just running it. I would type in the 0 0.07. And I'm just going to change this back to left. Um, and this will only give me the negative value, and the reason it's negative is because it's less than 7% is less than 50%. Um, so we end up with negative 1.475, um, 8, I'm just going to round it to there. Or we could say that it's approximately negative 1.48. Um, remember with this we are looking for two z-scores. So we would say that negative z is going to be the negative 1.48. Um, the positive z would just be the opposite, the 1.48. And so those would be your two answers. z is 1.48 and z is negative 1.48 um, would be the two z-scores where 86% of the area is in, in between. Like I said, if you have the feature where it's center, it's a lot less work. All you would have to do is the inverse norm, and you would type in the 0.86. And we would go down and we would select center, and go down and paste it, and then hit enter. And notice this gives you both the negative and the positive. So if you have that option, it's definitely something that I would use. If you don't have that option, the default is to the left, and so you just have to find the area to the left. As always, thanks for watching.